Facebook is going to show my stuff right Facebook shows my stuff to these people and yeah okay so Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about how do you find the right people to engage with in Facebook groups right so I'm sure you've heard that one of the ways to build a business any business is you need an audience you need people to talk to you need new blood so but how do you find the right people you could just randomly connect and randomly do things but there is a better way and I'm going to show you how to do that how you can find the right people to engage with in Facebook groups we'll get to that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so right finding the right people okay first you know that you've got to build an audience you have to have customers you have to have leads all that stuff has to happen you know if you're building an affiliate business you're building an online business you're building any kind of business you need customers we all know we need customers we need people to buy our stuff if they're not buying your stuff you're not you don't have business right so you want to be finding new people all the time that are actually interested in your stuff so how do you find them we're going to get to that before I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video at cis401.jsgagnon.com where I'm going to share the video and I'm doing a video and I have blog posts and all that so make sure you go check that out so okay let's get right to it I'm going to share my screen and kind of talk about Facebook let's talk about Facebook and you know you're on Facebook right you're scrolling Facebook there you're going through it you're looking at it you're like okay I'm just gonna engage on all these people's posts right I'm just gonna comment on these things I'm gonna go and then you know eventually it's gonna happen eventually I'm gonna have you know the connections that I that you know these people that are gonna be interested in my stuff they're gonna see my stuff because you know Facebook is gonna show my stuff right Facebook shows my stuff to these people and yeah okay so that's not exactly you know the best way I mean this is one of my friends Jen Johnson here she posts cool stuff all the time I engage on her stuff that's why I see it in my feed same thing with any of the other posts I see here right like this is Angela Gurley she's one of my friends she posted something about a, a kids uh, I guess this would be a baby shower and but that's the thing right so I see these things in my feed because I'm engaging with these people right so that's the first step but that isn't necessarily the right people because you're going to you're going to see the same this the post from the same people all the time in your feed because you're engaging with those people's feed and that's what Facebook wants to do Facebook wants to show you the stuff that you're engaging with right show you the stuff that you're engaging with because it knows you like it right you like the stuff that's there but how do you get new people well I'm sure you've heard you go to groups right you click on this little thing that's the group thing and you go to the groups and then once you see the groups this this thing here is a group feed that I did not click it yes so this is the group feed right so this is one of the ways Facebook lets you see what you might be interested in right the group feed shows you feeds from groups that you're in right feeds from people that posted in groups right so that's the group feed now that's one way to go and see who is posting in groups that you're in right but before any of that happens you have to do other things and before you even get to the point where we're actually going to talk about how do you find the right people to talk to we're going to talk about how to find the groups because you got to find the groups first right For, find the groups first how do you know which groups to you know go in how do you find the groups let's talk about that so let's get the little I got a little note notepad right here going uh whoa that's a lot of notes okay so I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger here uh let's make this a little bit down because it's kind of okay so how do you find the users which to engage with in Facebook group right so number one you first have to define define who you are after right so the first thing is you got to know who you're trying to reach right and that's when we talk about in marketing we talk about uh we talk about 
uh, your avatar we talk about your um your 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 audience right who is it that your target market who is it you're trying to act you know connect with who is you know who is the typical person now when we talk about an avatar if you don't know this already your avatar is a perfect customer right your perfect customer who is it that is your perfect customer and when we talk about an avatar we're talking about the exact the full details of who they are right the color of their hair the color of their eyes how old they are where do they live do they have kids or not what kind of education they have what's their income you know what are their hobbies do they have a dog or not you know cat dog a, a, a pet do they travel like what are their activities everything about them you should be defining so that's your first step you should be defining you know who is your avatar right who is your avatar and you know I know sometimes it's like well I don't want to define I, like I don't want to go after just one person that's not the point you're not def you're not going after one person you're defining who your ideal your perfect customer is so that whenever you do any kind of content any kind of marketing any kind of you know um whenever you're creating anything even post on Facebook you have a you know who where what kind of content would that person like where would they be what groups would be and that kind of stuff that lets you kind of define that so you know like me let's just I, and you know I do lots of different things but right now let's talk about um for example let's say I'm looking for uh they are an affiliate marketer right they like to sell things that other people have right so I'm looking for people that are interested in affiliate marketing they know what a personal brand is right so that's and you know I could I I could go into like you know um whoops uh I could go into their details I'm not going to go into that right now I just want to kind of define okay what are they interested in what do they know what do they not know right they know what a funnel is right they understand what a funnel is you know a website they know like for me that I'm not saying you have to do that right because it could be they have no clue what affiliate uh, you know what a personal brand is they have no clue what a funnel is that could be your definition it depends on what you're doing right me I'm just kind of listing that to give you an idea so that when we go to the next steps uh I'm going to kind of know how to you know I'm going to follow up based on those things that I just wrote there right so number two so once you've defined your avatar you know define your avatar and oh let's just put that here too uh define your whoops define define your target market right so when you when you talk about your target market you're talking about you know what's their interest what's what areas are they in it's not a specific person it's kind of like you know an age group for example right or or whether they're they're uh, male or female or whether they uh have kids or not there's you know like more of a general kind of you know also what's their income income range what's their education level that kind of stuff so that you can kind of have a better idea of what you're targeting right okay so number two is you're gonna go and find groups they are in uh, I should say find busy groups so well maybe not so find um not busy groups not the busiest group necessarily but find active groups that they are in right so not uh, like you know not 50 posts a day a day or you know or or one a week right or one a, a week right so find whoops not oh, let's just put that on a separate line let's put that on a separate line so not 50 posts a day or or just one post a week right so you want to have a a sweet spot so you maybe let's just say maybe 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 10 to 20 posts a day would be ideal right <laughs> that would be good it would be a group that's active but not too active so that you can actually focus on certain on a certain number of people so you got to find those groups right so that's that's the next thing you got to find groups that your target market is in uh not track it <laughs> uh, target right your oh, that's nice target market is in right so you got to find who your target market which group they're in right so number three join those groups 
join those groups right join those groups now other um and other um gurus right so some of the gurus they'll tell you join the group uh, read the post comment on the post engage on the post and all that is good all that is great that's definitely one thing you can do and that'll help because it'll it'll let Facebook know what kinds of stuff you're interested in and it'll show you more of that stuff when you go to the, the group feed um but you know I find that that takes a lot of time and if you have the time to do it that's definitely the best way to do it if you have the time to go and do that then that'll automatically bring your content you know in front of people uh they're going to start to see your stuff and actually you know before we even talk about that let's just say you've got to be post uh, on your timeline and in groups what you are about you got to be posting and that means you know uh one two three posts per day would be a good amount of posting you can do some say even or even just once one post a week right now if you post just one post a week you got to make sure that it's a post that's really targeted at what you're interested in what you're what you want to do help with what are you trying to do for other people not not what you are about right uh no sorry let me rephrase that you so there's five kinds of posts that you should be posting right you should be posting um results posts you should be posting value posts you should be posting um personal family posts you should be posting um offers only once every like eight or ten posts and then there's one last thing it's um uh um in inspirational inspirational stuff right so there's these five things that you should be posting regularly that's why I say one to three posts a day you don't want to be posting the same thing all the time because if you're posting only once a week and you're just posting you know about your um stuff that you're selling you're just going to look like some person that's scamming however if you're active in groups and you're posting in groups your timeline can be mostly about what you're selling because because if you're providing value and you know you're being a good neighbor in the groups you're helping people you're answering questions you're doing all those things then it's kind of okay that your posts are just your business because they're going to get the value out of the group and then they're going to come see to your profile and they're going to immediately see what you're about right so they can decide whether you don't want they want to reach out to you or not right but if you're posting on your timeline like I post on my timeline I post pictures of, you know sunset sunrises my kids uh my business stuff a little bit inspiration stuff questions I and that's the other thing you want to be posting things that people will engage with because it'll cause Facebook to show your stuff so there's all these different strategies but let's get back to how do you find the right people to engage with in groups so the first like I said so first you got to be um joining the groups you got to be finding active groups they are in you got to know who you're at after right and and you got to be posting on the timeline so that whenever they go see who what you're about they um they see who you are right so uh it's good to post in groups and and, and respond to questions the questions you know the answer to right so if you know the answer to something then you should answer the question right but you know like anything else it's just like if you're going to the barbecue you don't want to be like the know-it-all whatever so you got to be you know there's a certain way but anyways I'm, we're not going to get into that we're not I'm not going to explain to you how to talk to people but that's something you should know right you should know and if you don't there's I'm sure there's lots of places where you can learn that but um but the, okay so now last but not least is fun you know you could um uh, use tools that aren't aren't against Facebook rules so there's lots of tools out there that you can use to 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 do certain things with Facebook that are uh, that are against the rules like for example you know there's tools that let you go and friend a bunch of people send them messages and connect with them and send them all that stuff and send them private messages and and respond to their to their 
uh, their comments on your posts and do all that automatically and everything right so the automation side of things is not really something Facebook likes and they will block your account if they ever find out you're using those tools not necessarily because you're using the tool but because the tool allows you to do stuff that Facebook does not want you to be doing so it's like like Facebook doesn't want you to send 50 friend requests every day right that's that's going to get you blocked if you if you love every single thing in your feed and you 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 know engage on 100 posts in a day within an hour every day and that kind of stuff if you're automating this stuff that isn't something that Facebook wants so you want to make sure you're not using tools that Facebook doesn't doesn't like or going against the rules right so what does that mean that means you can use tools that aren't against that and obviously I have tools I've been building websites I do all these di different things and yes I do want to talk to you about a tool and you know you don't have to stay here uh that's fine if you if you're not interested but if if I if you do want to see it I'll talk about it in a second I just want to make sure you have a time to get out of here if that's not something you want to see so so since you're still listening then I'm going to assume that you actually want to hear about it so the tool that I'm talking about is uh, number six use a tool like active group users now I use this every single day and it's instead of you know me spending time on social media trying to navigate things and trying to figure stuff out I just use a tool and that tool goes and finds for me the people that are um that are active that I should be engaging with if for me it does it for me the difference between that and me doing it is that if I look at say for example I want to find groups right so affiliate marketing right I want to find groups about affiliate marketing I just put affiliate marketing in there I do a search and then you know it'll uh, I'll just click on groups right away so I want to see the groups that have to do with affiliate marketing now of course it's going to show me groups that I'm in already it's and you're going to kind of see um I guess you don't see it here anymore it used to show it used to show how many I guess I'm in these groups am I am I in all these groups or no I forget which which what does this look like visit group visit group I guess I am in these groups uh public groups city my groups I mean if I'm not in the group it'll it'll be a different icon let me just see if I can find one that's got a different icon is there oh there you go okay so if I'm not in the group it'll be like this right it'll say it'll be a black little box otherwise it's blue that means I'm in it <clears throat> so I can actually join these groups now oh this is where I see it okay when you're not in the group you'll see how many posts a day there are so they all say 10 posts a day or more right well no they don't all say that they're sorted by that so you'll see the groups that are busier at the top of the list and it'll say 10 posts a day right so if you 10 plus it's it's kind of sad that it doesn't say like I said earlier right 20 or 50 or 100 if there's 100 posts a group if I if I look at this group right affiliate marketing for beginners and it says here um 154,000 members and 10 posts a day if I just click on it I just want to see if you can see the the number of you know, does it say about how many posts yeah well this is a public group that's why you can kind of see and you can actually comment without even being in the group I think um so this is a bunch of posts this is a group that people I guess promote their their family businesses which is which is fine right I mean that's the thing you gotta you get whatever you're into the group will be you'll see whether it's a group you want to join or not and then you're gonna kind of look at what kinds of posts are in it and maybe you you join the group or maybe you don't join the group but the first step is finding groups right like I said um and then when I look at the list I should have probably opened this in the oh no okay it's not too bad so I see these I guess yeah all these groups I'm already in okay so how do you use the tool so the tool you gotta go and find it and install it and I got other posts to talk about that but once you have the tool you can open it up and it'll show you a list of groups well no actually the first time you install it there's no groups but what you've got to do is you got to ent enter groups you just put the link to the group right up here and then you just add the group and then you add groups and then you tell the tool to run you can schedule it like for example under here there's a scheduling I've got it set for 2 a.m so every day at 2 a.m what it'll do is it'll go to the group 
and it'll find the people that are actually active and then it'll give me a list oh, I should have I left it open then it'll give me a list of those people that are actually active in the group so right now it says that yesterday it found can you see that's pretty small eh? anyways it says it, it found 958 comments from 507 people in 211 group and 211 posts from nine groups right so that's basically letting me know that there's nine groups out of these groups I have here I have 10 groups which means that one of the groups there was not even a post in it right so I probably should get rid of that group in my list but it shows me there was 211 posts from 500 people which means there's lots of people that post multiple things which is fine but when I click on this view data right here it'll it loads up the page that kind of shows me the posts that these people have uh, um, uh, commented so you look at this list here you can kind of see what the posts are what the comments are and see what the names of these people are and uh, there's you know all these different things I can load more here there's 500 some right so there's going to be more to, to see right so somebody who's hiring a sales closer I mean all these posts right it's like whatever right there's just posts that are here that show um that that are in the groups right so how does the tool know which ones to show you here well there are people that commented there are people that are, that actually posted this person here Cody posted this person here commented right these people posted and commented you can actually go and say okay I just want to see you know one 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 of these groups I just want to see uh I can actually say I can actually put notes with each of these uh and then I can visit their profile so here's the thing the secret is that when you're looking for people that are active you want to find people that are actually commenting and posting in groups that your target market is in so that means that these people are in your target market because they're in the groups that your target market is in you decided you decide that right you decided that these people you know who are who they are right you decided who they are and then you find the groups that they're in so you got to join the groups once you've joined the group you put it in the tool and then you can you know you get a list you don't have to go to Facebook and go find them and whatever the tool goes for you finds the people and then you can just go and visit them if I go here I can see uh, I can even put if I ever get their name and number whatever I can even put that in here and then I just click on their profile here and it loads up a Facebook page for them so I can actually go here and I can actually uh, engage on their content right so the idea is if they're active in groups and they're posting that's somebody you might want to engage with obviously if their content is what you're looking for right if you're if that's content that's actually interesting to you then you um then this would be somebody to engage with so you can either uh you know obviously you don't want to just send them a message and a friend request right away and all that stuff because that's that's like yucky right people don't want to be connected with somebody they have no clue who they are right so the idea is by engaging on their posts like say if I just engage on this right <clears throat> say I just you know like this post right or love it or whatever uh, and I comment that's so cool something obviously that's relevant to what they're posting this guy here posted a picture of you know uh the um, the the lady uh, statue of liberty with the uh, I guess the Ukraine colors and so <clears throat> there I just posted uh, uh you know that this is cool so I so what did that do what does that do that sends that person well it doesn't necessarily auto automatically do it but Facebook will send a notification to most of the people that I engage with that I comment on and then what happens is I see these net notifications from these other people that I have no I don't know who they are because I they're new they're new blood right but you can see that this person here that I engage with he you know commented back right he saw my notification he saw my face I see his face here in my notification so he sees mine same thing with Anne right here right she engaged on a whole bunch of stuff because I commented on her stuff and this is kind of how it works so you engage on other people's stuff they see you in their notifications there's a you know maybe a 50 50 percent chance they're going to go and engage on your stuff and then there's going to be a reciprocity happening 
and after a few times of this they will actually recognize they're going to say oh that's the guy that or that's the girl that engaged on my stuff and I wonder and then you can send them a message you can say hey you know uh we've been engaging on posts a few days a few times here and there and I'm just wondering are you interested in building a are you building a business online because I have a tool that might help you or whatever it is you're selling right are you interested in losing weight because I have supplements that I really love would you be interested in looking at it because the idea is always to just get them to look at whatever you have right you you're not trying to sell them you're just trying to get them to look at what you have and if what you have is something they want that can give them a benefit then they're going to want it anyways because they know they know who you are now and they are interested in engaging with you right so in this case in my tool I actually say I engage on one post I comment on one post and I just save it and then that will update this thing it'll say that I just engage on them now I did one comment one reaction whoops <clears throat> one comment one reaction and I can also if I send them a friend request I can put the friend request there and that kind of stuff now if after a while of using the tool you can actually see who like if I click on this I can sort by the number of visits how many times I visited them sort the other way around because I want to see the most so this person here right this is Stephanie Oden I visited her 13 times so that means that this person definitely would be somebody that I could probably comment on uh, you know send them a message and say hey you know we've been engaging Stacy Hall I mean these are people I I know I've been following for a while but as you can see the numbers that are here you know 10 11 13 this is the number of comments right number of comments how many comments so that means that every single day that I engage and comment on their stuff they're going to see what I'm doing so the other thing too is you're going to notice that there's a little red box right here that stays there that box tells me how many visits I did today how many reactions how many comments also gives me an average right 30 day average so the total in the last 30 days how many people I've engaged with and it lets me keep track and if I want I can look at this and I say you know what oh look I haven't engaged with Stephanie's stuff in 33 days I probably should do it now and really I should probably look 129 and the reason why is because I've been kind of playing around with which groups I'm actually finding content with so that means that these people here oh here look see you've got a there's also uh, notes here right this one here says I can't comment I can't comment on this person's post if I go to her page <coughs> basically what happens is you know if I look at Anne here um and I go to her page it'll sh I probably I, I mean I sent her a message so maybe she changed that but back then when I first saw her I couldn't uh comment or engage on any of their, her stuff see look she's got a temporary I can't I can just share it this is just share there's I can't I actually engage on this right and as you can see she didn't do anything right so she didn't change anything she's trying to sell stuff but she doesn't have her page as pro as a pro uh, public so I can't engage on her stuff so that means that I basically go <coughs> and I I put a comment here that so I know that you know maybe I don't there's no sense in me uh engage, going back to this page because it says I can't comment I can't write so that kind of stuff and um and yeah so that's kind of how you use the tool how you find the people that's that's what the tool is you can go find the tool at activegroupusers.com let me just put the link up here uh is that it here yeah there you go actually I'm gonna make this uh edit this make this uh da, da, da. let's make this a little bit more there we go and let's put a space there there we go activegroupusers.com so you're going to go to activegroupusers.com it'll take you to this page um which basically is the website and there's going to be a link here to go and actually download it click here to enter your chance to win click here to download the extension you can actually go to this download link right here um and you can actually start using the tool right now it's free you get a 14-day free trial on all the features and then if you really like it then you, you can upgrade uh, or you can even keep using a free version which has less features but still it's really uh, gonna let you do that keep track of people that you're actually commenting on engaging on all that stuff is going to be uh, part of the this tool is going to let you do that right like you see right here all these comments you can see the comments you can see what what people are what people are saying and what the reaction the comments are right you can see the comments and, and so you can decide I I don't 
you know I'm not going to go and uh, ch you know visit this person or that person or whatever because you know they're not whatever they're posting is not something like so you can actually look at these these to decide that too right <clears throat> um or you just visit them all and just you know decide based on what their pa pages are instead of you having to go through Facebook and finding them you just use this to go and find them all right so hopefully you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.